Jill and this pint sized story time is all about rabbits, also known as bunnies. Rabbits are very special to me. They are my favorite animal. In fact, they are so special to me, I even have a tattoo of a wild rabbit. Do any of you have a house rabbit at home as a pet? What's your favorite animal? You can let me know in the comments. Let's get started with our first rabbit rhyme. Everybody get out your bunnies. I saw a little rabbit go hop, hop, hop. I saw her long ears go flop, flop, flop. I saw her little nose go twink, twink, twink. I saw her little eyes go blink, blink, blink. I said, little rabbit, won't you stay? But she looked at me and hopped away. You can do the next one with me with your own rabbit. But I'm gonna use my special rabbit puppet. You're gonna see I have a lot of rabbit puppets. Here's a bunny with ears so funny. And here is her hole in the ground. When a noise she hears, she pricks up her ears and she jumps into her hole in the ground. Let's do that one more time. Here is a bunny with ears so funny. And here is her hole in the ground. When a noise she hears, she pricks up her ears and she jumps into her hole in the ground. Bye bye. All right, we're gonna do one more bunny rhyme with yet another one of my bunny friends. And then we're gonna read a special book about bunnies. Little bunny in a hat resting so still. Will she come out? Yes, she will. She looks to the left. Hello. She looks to the right. Hello. She looks straight ahead. Hello. And she ducks out of sight. Bye bye. <laughs> Right. The book we're going to read is called Little White Rabbit. And we're reading this book with permission from HarperCollins Children's. Little White Rabbit by Kevin Hankies. Kevin Hankies wrote the words and drew the pictures. Little White Rabbit hopped along. When he hopped through the high grass, he wondered what it would be like to be green. When he hopped by the fir trees, he wondered what it would be like to be tall. When he hopped over the rock, he wondered what it would be like not to be able to move. When he hopped under the butterflies, he wondered what it would be like to flutter through the air. When 
when he hopped past the cat, he was too frightened to wonder anything. So he turned around and hopped and hopped as fast as he could. Soon, Little White Rabbit was home. He still wondered about many things. But he didn't wonder who loved him. She's gonna get your nosy. Let's do that one more time. Round and round the garden, little bunny goes. Hippity hop, hippity hop. She's gonna get your toesies. Tick, 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 tick. She's getting my toes. Oh my goodness, it tickles so much. Let's do that one more time. Round and round the garden, little Little bunny goes, hippity hop, hippity hop, she's gonna get your nose. A little nose kiss from my little bunny. Bye bye, little bunny. All right, we have one more bunny friend. Can you believe how many bunny friends I have? It's because they're my favorite animals, so I have lots of bunny friends. <gasps> All right, we're gonna do a special bunny song. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Sit there so still, are they ill? No! Wake up, bunnies. Wake little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. 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 <laughs> All right, that was bunny story time. Bye-bye, little bunnies. Mwah. <laughs>